Ladies and gentlemen, we have another Persona 3 Reload trailer, character trailer in fact, of the Eternal Protector, aka Igus, aka Toaster, aka one potential, potential best waifu. Anyway, I'm excited. Let's watch the trailer. I don't know why they released this one after Koromaru. I feel like that order is kind of mixed up. I feel like it should have been Igus, then Koromaru, and then potentially Ken. But you know what? We'll, we'll let it rock. We'll let it rock. Let's see what Igus got to do. For some reason, I feel like going to Tartarus and raising some hell. I guess. Shall we conduct a raid? I guess. Oh, it's gotten so late. It doesn't seem like we'll be able to go tonight. How unfortunate. I'll just return to my room then. Voice actor is clean. When the moon, when the moon's reaching out? Should we head in? Okay. It's almost Koro Chan's dinner time. I'll be September. preparing your dinner today, Koromaru san I hope you look forward to it. Oh my God! Look at her portrait, man. She looks so beautiful, bro. Damn, I just can't cook. <laughs> hey there, ladies. Wanna try your hand in a lucky draw? Oh, this is if you got nobody else to go with. Between this and my onboard firearms. Which is more effective than the, the, the music in the, the background? Shadows. Here, let's Oh trade. my goodness, dude, their portraits. Right on oh! Ready for Won't miss. Or Yeah mode. It's a the, uh, the urge attack again. Now. Damn! Hers is the best. Hers is the best. Hers is better than Yukari's. The music! Oh shit! In the night, let me be with you. Come in the town with my life. Bro, you can't miss, bro. Oh, Atlas, you can't miss. It's not possible, bro. 100% accuracy. Literally, I guess words can't miss. Oh my god. Bro, look at her portrait. Look how beautiful they made her, man. My goodness. The hair, eyes, face, the lips. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. She looks so amazing. Uh, I think we only seen her in the school. No, because in Tartarus, she has to. Um, she has to be in her normal clothes. Clean. Clean. Palladian. Uh, I don't know if she said their persona's name. Oh, I wish they did. That'd have been cool. Goddamn. Dawn, excellent job. Wonderful, wonderful. All the voice actors absolutely hitting the marks. I love every single one of them. There's not a single voice that I feel is so like bewildered, bewildering to me. Like, honestly, all of them fit. I, I'm, so, I'm so here for it, bro. I'm so here for it. Look at Makoto, look at him. Look at him petting Koromaru, getting to his level. See, this is this is what lead, this leader shit right here, man. September. I, all these dates are in September. It looks like Koromaru is not a fan of her food. That is shameful. This, this is the event that happens when you don't have anybody to go to the festival with. You automatically go with Mitsuru and Igus. Oh, but this is in August. Ooh, so I was wrong. Bro, this fucking duck from Wild Duck Burger. This ugly ass duck, bro. <laughs> I am so sad they brought that back. Where's Hagakure, bro? Oh, we saw that in Mitsuru's trailer. Bro, the portraits, bro. Oh my god, dude. Look at Igus and her Yukata. Oh my god, toaster. <laughs> Amazing and then look at Mitsuru bro. Oh my goodness the bun bro the oh my god bro look at look at Mitsuru is on point the island oh my lord This this her What do they what do we call this? What are we calling this man? Let me get this name right because I've been calling it some like haphazard shit <laughs> What are we calling this attack? Can I see? No, 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 you're too early. <laughs> you're too late, too late. No, 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 it's still too late. Hold on, we'll get this. Ready Killer twins. Oh, they don't have it here. But Orgia mode, bro. It's not like um, a power-up. 
or anymore like a power up that lasts a few turns now it's like a whole special thing which honestly i think is better i think everyone's gonna be happy with this change because in the actual games orgia mode is kind of useless like i don't ever use it if i have i guess on the team even if i i don't use it even when i have i on the team if she's on the team you know what i mean after using physical skills her drive to complete her mission intensifies okay heavy pierce damage to all fools ignoring resistance ignores orders for a short time oh not even a short time just for a time Ooh, what does that mean how many turns is that oh and then it's a status effect afterwards are all the attacks like this they kept that from the original interesting this is crazy though ignoring resistances and heavy damage to all foes does does that count if they null it too or is it just resistant because those are two separate things so i want to see how that how is that going to work and it's based on the current persona they have i'm pretty sure that's palladian so when their personas evolve what is this going to change to oh, i didn't even think about that what oh that's interesting and why is it so clean it is the best one that we have seen like i'm biased all right i like yukari a lot but this is way better than yukari's it's is it better than mitsuru's i feel like mitsuru just has that fan service in there that's kind of just like topping it off a little bit but if we're being objective, I think this is the best one. This is the best one that we have seen so far. Better than Akihiko's, better than Junpei's, better than Mitsuru's, better than Yukari's. And then Makoto, Makoto's is just like the fusion spells, I think. So it's based on what kind of personas you have on you right now. So, or maybe they buy it, maybe it's through skill cards again. Maybe it's like something that you have to purchase through that antique shop. But anyway enough of me rambling this this is clean this is amazing why does this look so good full automation mode oh my that damage oh my god that's so much damage holy shit for that stage of the game that's probably like in august or september Dude, that's a lot of fucking damage. Oh, and let me talk about the music. When the moon's reaching out, banger, banger, certified banger. Not my favorite. I'd probably rank it maybe third or fourth place. I'm, I'm really liking Color Your Night. Changing Seasons is number two. It's going down now. Oh my God, dude, when it gets to that, it's going down now. Da, da. Oh, that shit is fire. No, nah, no, nah, that has to be third place. This is gonna be fourth. That, that's my tier list so far. Oh, this was a good trailer. This was a good trailer, bro. I'm actually hyped about this fucking trailer. I would say... Oh, shit. I wanna say... Oh, fuck, that's hard. Okay, I'm gonna put Yukari up because I'm biased. I'm just gonna flat out recognize that. I'm biased. Yukari's is gonna be number one. It's a toss up between second place between Makoto and I guess. No, Makoto's trailer had so much in it. Yeah, nah. Makoto's trailer is number two. Probably number one if I'm being objective and not biased. And then I guess is either second place or third place depending on if I'm being objective or not. Cause that was clean. This is a clean trailer. And look at the amount of time. Look how much we got in this trailer. Dude, clean, clean. Alright, that's gonna be it for the video though. Thank you everyone for watching. Much appreciated. Um, make sure to check out my YouTube channel. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you like the content you see here. I also got a website now. I don't think I've updated it on the YouTube channel, but it's the darkerhour.com. Go ahead and check that out. You'll find all my social media there, along with some memes that I've been posting. The reactions will be posted there as well, and a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Check that out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.